The second government shutdown in three weeks ended before the sun came up this morning. Congress approved a compromise budget bill and sent it straight to the president's desk. CBS News correspondent Mola Lenghi has more from Capitol Hill tonight on how Congress reached this historic agreement. President Trump has signed a bipartisan $400 billion budget agreement, ending a brief government shutdown that began just after midnight. He tweeted, just signed bill. Our military will now be stronger than ever before. We love and need our military and gave them everything and more. First time this has happened in a long time. Also means jobs, jobs, jobs. Is agreed to. The Senate approved the bill in the early morning hours, pushed past the deadline because of a long protest over the cost of the deal by Senator Rand Paul. The legislation sharply increases spending and the federal deficit. It's pure, empty partisan politics where people are saying, oh, it's okay for Republicans to have debts, but it was bad for Democrats to have debts. Then it was the House's turn to sign off on the legislation. This agreement accomplishes getting the resources that we need to rebuild our military. The bill is tied to a temporary six-week agreement to allow time for the deal to be enacted. It includes increased spending for the military, domestic programs, and disaster relief. The dreamers. Most Democrats in the House voted they against so the spending bill, trying to use it as leverage to get a vote on immigration. They want a deal on dreamers, children brought illegally to the U.S. as children whose protection runs out next month. The Speaker of the House, refusal to commit to considering bipartisan legislation to protect teenagers and young adults from deportation is unjustifiable and maddening. That issue will likely be the next major showdown in Congress. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, both Montana Congressman Greg Gianforte and Senator Steve Daines voted to continue the government shutdown and against this budget bill, the bill that provides funding for more than 40 Montana community health centers. Senator John Tester voted in favor of the bill that also extends the Children's Health Insurance Program for another four years.